guys, this is Derrickson from XDA Developers again here. I'm just going to explain to you real briefly on how to use the new XML theme control file format. Uh, the first thing I want to I want to mention is that I'm going to try to run through this as quick as possible. I, I promise we're going to shoot for under 10 minutes. I know my uh, my videos usually are not short by any means. Um, I also want to point out that right now uh, Metamorph Pro is the only one with these changes so far. Um, as of right now, the free version is still using uh, a much older version of Metamorph 1.9.4 and it's uh, still using the dot theme control file. This will change in the future, but not right now because I don't want to break all of the themes that are out there right now. I want to give time for developers to create new themes using the XML theme control file format and I want to give time for us to convert some of the older themes to this new theme control file format before we go ahead and release it for the free version. Without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it here. Okay, right here we got our new theme control file format. You notice that this is testtheme.xml. From now on there will be XML files. Same rules apply. This must have the same name as your theme.zip. So this is called testtheme.xml. That means my theme, my theme zip would have to be testtheme.zip. Okay. Uh, let's see. First thing I want to point out is that every single theme control file now has to have this. Just because it is in an XML format, you need to define that this, this is XML version 1.0. Next thing I want to point out is this useless block tab here. Uh, it is useless. There's no point here. No, it doesn't serve any benefit other than to serve as notes. Um, we're going to talk about that in just a moment. Second thing I want to point out is that from now on, when using the theme control, uh, when doing the theme control file, you must have an open tag and a closed tag. Open tag, closed tag, open tag, closed tag. Okay, got it. Good. Here we have the useless open tag. Here we have the useless closed tag. Okay. If you leave a field blank, it's not going to show up in the app. The only things that are required in this theme control file are the item and the path and this. Everything else is optional. If you don't want a description, take it out. If you don't want any of this, take it out. It won't show up in the app. I personally, it, I think Metamorph is there with the information in there. I would use it. That's my recommendation. Um, but you can go with whatever you feel. Okay, let's uh, jump right into it. Right here, this block text, this is going to come up in the dialog show to the user before they can apply your theme. And this is going to be the first thing that they see when choosing your theme from their you know, storage system, SD card, whatever. Right here, we're going to have theme name. It's going to be the name of your theme. Right here, we're going to have theme version. It's going to be the version of your theme. I really recommend keeping this in because in the future versions of Metamorph, it's possible that we may use this to determine if a user needs to update the theme. So uh, it, that's something to keep in mind. Screenshot. I'm going to explain this just a little bit. We now allow for, we now have the ability to show a screenshot of your work. I know that's a big plus. I know that you probably want, you know, three, four, five, even a second screenshot, but really, um, I don't really have the uh, the capability of it right now. In the future, I may add in, uh, you know, maybe for the possibility of more screenshots, but that will definitely be something in the future. Um, the second point to keep in mind about the screenshots is they must be in a .png format. Can't be a JPEG, can't be a GIF, can't be a bitmap. Has to be .png. Okay. Um, second thing, thing. You're not going to put .png in here. Metamorph already knows it's going to be .png, and you don't need to do it. Just put device or whatever the name of the um, image is. In my example, my image was called device.png, so I just put device. This is where you're going to put your name as the author of this theme. Author web link. This is where you can put in a web link to wherever you want. You can put it to your Facebook, to your Twitter account, to the thread that contains this theme. You can put your PayPal address in there. 
put whatever you want in there guys any kind of URL it will load it up Android browser make sure it's HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www dot you know so on and so forth phone this is going to be uh, where you specify what phone this can run on please make sure you let the you know, consumer the user know what your theme works on if it doesn't work with a certain phone or you know it has issues make sure you put it on there if you've only tested it with one phone put it on there until you find out otherwise some brave soul decides to try it on some phone that you never specified it was good for this is where you're gonna put the ROM um, make sure you put the ROM that this is compatible for same thing with the phone put it with the ROM put the ROM name that this has been tested on yeah, there are a lot of different ROM versions out there a lot of different cyanogen mods so I also recommend that you put the version number version you know x.x .x, whatever theme description this is where you're gonna give a brief description of your theme in its entirety um, you know what's the inspiration for your theme why did you create it what's changed recently maybe you can use this as a way to keep users updated on what's changed in your theme or what new features you've added um, or what's to come and, you know maybe give them something to look forward to so that you can keep them using your theme you know your your imagination is your limitation so okay right here so this is pretty standard um, just launch.apk that's and then the path to it system slash app of course just like before the only thing new here is description right here you're gonna have the ability to tell your users what this specifically does you can tell them that this changes the launcher tab you can tell them that this changes you know the notification bar that it makes the background transparent you can change it to whatever you like and just let the user know if you'd like to what this specific sub theme is going to do for them um, that's pretty much it guys um, the only other thing that I want to go over is that framework must always be last in your theme because of open eclair open eclair whenever you theme framework likes to reboot this is just because framework is so critical to the system that when it you know has a change this drastic us you know injecting images into it that it causes a soft reboot because of this I really recommend putting this last so that all of your other all the other parts of your theme will apply and stick and then when it finally does framework it will stick as well and if it does cause a reboot then that won't bother you any as the uh, themer um, that's pretty much it like I said leave that last um, like I said the only things that are required in this neutral file is this right here and this right here if y'all have any questions hit me up twitter.com slash always happy to help out and I guess we will see you all on the other side